This video will introduce you to Farmingdale State College's Greenlee Library. We'll talk about Greenlee Hall spaces and departments, library materials, and how librarians can help you with research. When you walk into Greenlee Hall, you'll see the library on one side and the career center and cafe on the other. The library's computer lab is also located in this entranceway to the left of the cafe. If your class is ever meeting in the library, it's most likely in this room. Heading into the library, you'll see two desks by the entrance. The desk on the left is the reference desk. Anytime the library is open, there's a librarian available at this desk to help you with all types of questions, like research and citing sources, as well as technical help like connecting to Wi-Fi and printing. For example, we can help you find articles and books on your paper topic using the library's databases. You can get to the library resources from our website, which is at the top right of our farmingdale.edu homepage. A simple way to find information is to enter a topic, title, or author in the Search Everything section. This search box will show you all types of library materials like books, ebooks, scholarly articles, magazine articles, newspaper articles, and more. This page also has links to our hours and guides for citing sources. There are many different ways to search for sources. Also look under the databases tab to find databases that are useful for many different subjects. Searching the library's databases is the best place to get started with research because they have the most reliable resources. Resources like these would not be available for free if you didn't access them through the library's website. It will also be helpful to look at our subject research guides. If we look at one of these guides, you'll find librarian recommended resources specific to each subject. These resources are broken down into databases, books, web resources, information on citing sources, professional associations, and how to get help with research. If you're accessing databases from off campus, you'll see a page like this that will prompt you to enter your username and password. Your username is the first part of your Farmingdale email before the at farmingdale.edu, and your password is the same password used for your email. At the reference desk, you can also borrow some popular reference books that can only be used in the library. This desk also has adapters that you can use with the second floor monitors. If your device doesn't have an HDMI port, you'll need to use an adapter to display your laptop, tablet, or phone on our monitors. We just need to hold your student ID when you borrow adapters and reference books. Across from the reference desk is the circulation desk. This is where you can borrow books and other materials using your student ID. These materials include reserved textbooks that can, you can use for two hours at a time. We don't have every textbook, but we do have the most expensive textbooks and the textbooks that are used for multiple class sections. You might want to save money and borrow your books from the library instead of buying them. To find out if we have the textbook for your class, go to the Books and eBooks tab on the library website. To see all the textbooks we have, click on View List of Reserved Textbooks by Course Number. If we're looking for a textbook assigned for Bio 125, we would click on Bio, and then we would see a list of books the library has for that class. You can also search for books by title and author. We also have laptops that are available to borrow at the circulation desk. These can be used for four hours in the library. You can also borrow sets of bones, muscles, and teeth that are useful for nursing and dental hygiene students. Some other things you can borrow from the circulation desk include headphones, a graphing calculator, and DVDs. Moving on to the rest of the first floor, there are 36 computers and three printers, one at each table. Use your Farmingdale username and password to sign on to these computers and to print. There is no charge for printing. There are also three scanners on the first floor, which are free. You can send files directly to your Farmingdale email, Google Drive, or save to your USB drive. If you prefer to make paper copies, we also have two copy machines that cost 15 cents per page. The books you see on the first floor are reference books, like encyclopedias and textbooks. These can only be used in the library. You'll also find some novels and popular reading material that can be checked out. Heading down to the lower level, you'll find the majority of our books. These books can be borrowed for two weeks at a time. Surrounding these stacks of books are some spaces for group and individual studying. The offices for academic advising and the RAM program are also located on the lower level. Moving up to the second floor, other departments in the library are the Writing Center and the Tutoring Center. The second floor also has a lot of great study spaces with monitors so you can easily display your notes or work on a project with a group. We also have whiteboards that are commonly used for math and chemistry work. You can borrow dry erase markers and erasers from the periodicals desk on the second floor. The second floor also has two group study rooms, which are first come, first serve. Lastly, there is also a quiet study room on the second floor, which is completely silent. You are able to talk and work in groups in all other parts of the library, so this is the place to go if you need quiet. There are also eight additional computers here. 